Today's topic is graph theory from discrete mathematical structures. So here in this video, I'm going to discuss few basic definitions related to the graph theory. The first definition is graph. So what is a graph? So coming to the definition here, a graph consists of a pair V comma E. So what is V here? V is nothing but the set of vertices. So let's say V1, V2, V3 and so on. And E the set of edges, small E1, E2, E3 and so on. And there is a mapping from the set of edge E to the ordered or unordered pair of the elements of V. See here, the graph G with vertex V and edge E is written as G of V comma E. So see here. So these are nothing but dots or vertices or nodes. See here, let us take V1, V2, V3 and V4 as four vert vertexes, vertices. So if you join with a line or an edge, so what is this line or an edge? So these are nothing but V1, V2, V3 are nothing but the vertices. So the connecting lines or the connecting edges between the vertices so, between the vertices, the line which is connecting two vertices is called an edge and the points here or the nodes or the dots here are called the vertices. So, here there is a mapping between the set of edges to the ordered and unordered pair of the vertices. So, this is nothing but, so graph, this is nothing but the graph. The graph consists of the vertices V1, V2, V3, V4 and edges. So, this is E1, this is E2, this is E3 and this is E4, the lines. So, these are nothing but E1, E2, E3 are nothing but edges or lines. And see here, V1, V2, V3, V4 are nothing but the vertices or dots or nodes. See here. So, this is the representation of graph. See, what is a finite graph and what is an infinite graph? See, a graph V, E is said to be finite if it has finite number of vertices and finite number of edges. See, if they are countable edges and countable vertices, then we say that the graph formed by these vertices and edges is a finite graph or else it is an infinite graph. See here, what is a finite graph? So, let us uh, take the vertices V1, V2 and V3. So, here this is V1, this is V2 and this is V3. V1, V2 and V3. The connecting lines are nothing but the edges. This is E1, this is E2 and this is E3. So, the graph form with these vertices and edges is called a finite graph. So, as they are, so the edges here are E1, E2 and E3. So, this is a finite number and this is also a finite number. So, if you form a graph with finite number of vertices and finite number of edges, E is called a finite graph or otherwise we call it as an infinite graph. Next, coming to this adjacent vertices. So, what is adjacent vertices? So, any two vertices connected by an edge in a graph is called an adjacent vertices. See, for example, if you see A, this is B. This is C and this is D. So, these are the vertices. So, dots are nothing but the vertices. So, A, B, C, D. I have considered the vertices as A, B, C, D. So, the connecting line is nothing but the edge. So, these are the edges. So, in this graph, what are adjacent vertices? Are and non-adjacent vertices. So, adjacent vertices are nothing but A and B. So, A and B is connected by an edge. So, A and B are adjacent vertices. So, A and C are adjacent vertices. A and D are adjacent vertices. So, if you consider B, C. So, B is not connected with any line or edge. So, B and C are unadjacent vertices. See, got it? Next one is, what is an unadjacent, non-adjacent vertices? So, non-adjacent vertices is nothing but any two vertices which are not connected by an edge in a graph is called a non-adjacent vertices. So, if you consider the points A, here B, here C, here D, see here, this is AB. 
so if you consider this graph a b c d so here a and b are connected so a and b are adjacent vertices so a d are adjacent vertices c d also adjacent vertices coming to b and d and a and c they are not connected by a line or an edge therefore a c are non adjacent vertices so which type of vertices are a and c b and d are non adjacent vertices so if you consider this adjacent vertices what are adjacent vertices a comma b and next one c a c and next a d these are adjacent vertices so there should be a connecting edge so if there is no connecting edge between b and c is also non adjacent vertices so b and c next one is loop so coming to the coming to the loop so here loop is also very simple so if an edge of a graph that joins the vertex to itself is called a loop or self loop so it is so simple here so if you consider v1 v2 v3 and v4 so this is v1 this is v2 this is v3 and this is v4 see all these are edges and this is also an edge so this is nothing but what is this this is nothing but the loop so loop is nothing but see here an edge of a graph that joins a vertex to itself so it is joining to itself so the initial point and the terminal point are same here so this is nothing but the loop so loop is clear adjacent uh, vertices uh, and non adjacent vertices are also clear and next coming to the multiple graph see what is a multiple graph if more than one line joining two vertices are allowed in a graph then the resulting graph is called a multiple graph see here so this is uh, v1 v2 v3 and v4 so this is v1 v2 v3 and v4 see if they are connected like this so this is a graph so if they are parallel vertices so here this is a parallel vertices so v1 to v4 so if there are one or more uh, vertices which are connecting v1 to v4 see here v1 to v2 see like this so these are nothing but the parallel edges so parallel edges are nothing but the connecting two vertices in two different ways so these are parallel vertices if the graph entertains these parallel edges then it is called multi graph see here if more than one line see here more than one line joining two vertices are allowed in a graph then the resulting graph is a multiple graph if a graph consists of parallel edges so edges are nothing but lines so if they have parallel edges in a graph in a given graph then that graph is called multiple graph and next what is a pseudo graph see here a graph in which the loops and the multiple edges are allowed in a allowed in a graph are allowed is called a pseudo graph see coming to this so this is see i'm connecting first so this is v1 this is v2 this is v3 and this is v4 so i'm connecting these so in a graph if you if you feel that you have parallel multiple it's a multiple graph so multiple edges so if you have multiple edges means parallel edges so if you have parallel edges as well as loops also so there it should be a loop and next parallel edges both in a graph then parallel edges ed then we say that this is a pseudo graph so this is nothing but a pseudo graph a pseudo graph should contain or should allow parallel edges as well as loops in the graph whereas so this is a multiple graph in which only parallel edges are there so this is a multi graph so in the multi graph only parallel edges are allowed so in pseudo graph both parallel edges and loops are also seen so that graph is known as pseudo graph and next coming to the simple graph a simple graph is nothing but a graph which has neither loops nor multiple edges is called a, a simple graph so reverse of pseudo graph so it should not contain parallel edges and it should not contain loops so it should be very very simple that is v1 this is v2 and this is v3 so the edges shouldn't contain 
parallel edges and loops so if it doesn't have loops and parallel edges it is called a simple graph if it has parallel edges and loops it it is a pseudo graph and if it has the parallel edges it is called the multiple graph clear and next coming to this so what is a directed graph so directed graph is also very very easy so this is nothing but a directed graph or a digraph g in which the each edge of a graph each edge of a graph g has a direction then the graph is called a directed graph so it should need a direction so if you see here v1 this is v2 this is v3 and this is v4 so these are v1 v2 v3 are the vertices and the connecting points here is e1 e2 e3 and e4 so directed graph there should be some direction here to the edges see here a directed graph or a digraph g in which each edge of a graph has a direction direction then the graph is called a directed graph so this is nothing but so there is a direction here from v1 to v2 v2 to v4 v4 to v3 v3 to v1 so this is a directed graph and next coming to undirected graph so what is an undirected graph if there is no direction at all so an undirected graph is a graph in which each edge of a graph g has no direction then the graph is called an undirected graph see here if you consider this one this is v1 this is v2 this is v3 this is v4 this is v5 and this is v6 so these are all the vertices and see here the connecting edges so there is no direction so we can consider from v1 to v2 as well as v2 to v1 so v2 to v2 there is no direction so there is no direction to any any one of the edges and therefore this is an undirected graph so there is a direction here this is directed graph and there is no direction to each edge of the graph therefore it is an undirected graph see here in today's class we learned so many things uh, what is a graph see here so the points here i am telling you what is a graph so graph is nothing but so connecting v1 v2 this is v3 and this is v4 and so on you can take many more and these are the vertices so the line connecting these two vertices is called an edge so the connecting lines between the vertices is called the edge and the vertices and all together the edges it just forms a graph so this is about the graph and there are many more graphs here so the first one is adjacent vertices non adjacent vertices what is a multiple graph so if we have finite number of vertices and finite number of edges it is a finite graph or else it is an infinite graph and coming to the adjacent uh, uh, vertices so if you consider this this is a this is b this is c and this is d so a line or an edge is connecting these two vertices so this is adjacent so a and b are adjacent vertices and b and c are not connected by any edge and therefore b and c are non adjacent vertices and next coming to the loop here so loop is nothing but it is also an edge so it's uh, the initial point and the terminal point meets at the same place so what is a loop an edge of a graph that joins a vertex to itself is called a loop or a self loop so what is a parallel edge so parallel edge is nothing but so in this v1 and this is v2 so v1 and v2 is connected by an edge if it is connected by an one more edge then these two are called parallel edges so if any graph is con if any graph contains these parallel edges then this is called a multi graph and if any graph is containing parallel edges as well as loops then this is called as a pseudo graph see here coming to uh, multiple graph multiple graph it has only parallel edges and next coming to um, pseudo graph then it is then it has both loops as well as parallel edges and coming to the simple graph what is a simple graph if a graph does not contain these loops and parallel edges then that graph is called a simple graph and next one is directed graph and indirected graph so this is a graph which is which has a direction to each and every vertex v1 v2 and v3 and these are the edges so there is a direction here 
and whereas if you consider this one so if you consider uh, this graph so this is v1 this is v2 this is v3 this is v4 v5 and v6 and there is no direction to uh, for the edges in the graph therefore it is called an undirected graph so now in this video i have ex I clearly explained about the graph finite graph infinite graph uh, adjacent vertices so nearby vertices so connected uh, edges so adjacent vertices non-adjacent vertices and what is a loop what are parallel edges and what is a multiple graph and what is a pseudo graph simple graph a directed graph and undirected graph in my next video i'm going to tell about the degree of the vertices in degree out degree everything so please don't miss this uh, video if you really like this video please pass it on to your friends and please subscribe to this channel and support this channel thank you so much